Hi everybody, I'm Iakudas, and this is Let's Read Megadex. The global climate is getting warmer. The primitive ice of the Arctic Ocean is slowly melting. The ancient virus that has been sleeping for billions of year in the, years in the permafrost of Siberia is gradually awakening. Facing two young adults from a long time, the life of ordinary girl Lusitan is about to begin. The ancient virus. Genres. Boys love. Oh, global warming's turning these guys gay. <laughs> okay, next next one. In a town with no baseball team, young Bungo spends his days throwing the ball he received as a gift against a wall until Yokio Noda, a Jap Japanese representative youth baseball player, appears before him and an unexpected showdown ensues. After a chance meeting in middle school, these two enroll in the CO Senior, where they struggle to make it to Koishin with everything they have. Bungo. Eh? Eh. Another baseball sports anime? I mean, manga? Whatever. This one seems like it's been going for a while. It looks... I don't know. Not really into sports animes. Or sports manga. I didn't watch Keijo. That was funny. <laughs> You fought twice against my father Rodius, and once for my brother Shalk. You lost every battle, but you're still alive. Tina's voice was a bit ecstatic. Tina, the daughter of the leader from the world's strongest cavalry corps, the Vasimun Cavalry, got to meet Dudarkus, an, un uh, an unorthodox hero with the nickname the Always Losing General. In her first time going to the battlefield, <sighs> this is a fantasy war story. Following a hero named Dudarkus, his follower Tina, and the Princess General Sharma, and other attractive characters' way of life in a war turn world that's full of conspiracies. The always losing general has fallen again. Wait. Okay. Why is she his vassal if her brothers keep fighting him and he keeps losing? No, I mean, I, I don't know. This could be funny. This could be okay. So, at some point, you just gotta fire the dude, or, and at the very least, he's a survivor. If he, he he's lost so many times, and all his men get killed, but he lives, then he's a survivor. Alright. I, the main character, have the ability to weakly sense the paranormal. One day, my childhood friend Kono Kawada, who was supposed to have died in an accident, appears before me with her panties exposed. A precious ghost romantic comedy that will get you blushing. Yuri ni not Natakara Pansu meets his sermol. Bernai, yone. Now that I'm a ghost, it won't be noticed even if I show my panties, right? Well, I mean, she's taking her death really good. <laughs> that, that, I guess that's one way to go about it. Kina, all otherwise known as Guardian Hearts, is sent to Earth on a mission to protect the peace, and with strict orders not to let anyone find out about her identity. So when Kazuya accidentally sees Hina transform when she comes to Earth, he is forced to take her home with him. But it's okay to know because it's okay to know about secret identity of your family, right? At least that's what Hina believes. But as if living with Guardian Hearts isn't trouble with some enough, magical girls seem to be appearing everywhere and revealing themselves to Kazuya. Can Kazuya survive the tensions and jealousies of so many girls? One thing is for sure, Kazuya's days will be anything but dull. Guardian Hearts. Meh. Eh. Eh. Generic harm. I, I bet you they never even fight anybody in this. Or they fight like they fight like the demons or the whatevers in the first episode or the first chapter, and then it never comes up again. And then it's just love comedy, and they never fight anything ever again. The hero has finally entered the Demon Lord's castle to begin the final face-off between mankind and demons. At the throne room, he was met with... At the Demon Lord's castle. Well, the Demon Lord is either the waifu, who used to be the daughter of the old Demon King, or it's him from the future. And he became the Demon Lord. Who knows? All right. Eccentric, eccentric girl, Yin Ying, finally got into the University of Her Dreams, but she suddenly discovers that Ji Yu Chan, the arrogant and gifted senior, is her first love whom she lost contact with four years ago. 
After a huge misunderstanding, the two started a game pretending to be a couple. His life is now disturbed by her social butterfly behavior, yet his heart never seemed to stop beating. On the road of my chasing dreams, you are there. The curtains of this show love of this show of confusing love is about to be lifted. Dear dreamers, thorns of warmth. I mean yeah, it's romance, okay. Yep. That that's generic romance. Yeah. No, nah, I don't know. Nothing. No, no feelings about that one way or another. Just like, yeah, that's that's generic. The rich are strong and the poor are weak. Yushin learns what it means to fight for what he believes in. Kim Yushin, an ordinary boy, had to pretend he did not know his friend was bullied. I met a cat who was the strongest general 15,000 years ago and started to receive spiritual strength. Indeed, what kind of growth did the boy achieve through the encounter with the general? Supernova. Yeah, you find a magic cat or a magic grandpa or a magic like spirit shoved in a ring or a sword or whatever the fuck and it's haunting you and then it makes you stronger because it gave you a system and then you can level up and you do all this, these pointless tasks and they level up and then you find and then it's like you fight some guy and then you kick his ass but then he calls in his friend or his grandpa or whatever and then like you gotta fight them and it's like you just keep going and going and going forever and it's just pointless grinding. And nothing ever... The plot never actually goes anywhere. Okay. I think this is pretty good for today's Let's Read. All of it... All of it just seemed like it sucked. Good job, Random. Anyways, I've been E.R. Kadas. Goodbye, everybody.